Yeah, we, um, you know, it's something we talked about, you know, potentially using. Uh, we wanted to see how effective our centers could be, you know, obviously eating up minutes against the bonus and turn on their size. Um, you know, but we felt like there was something, uh, you know, that we could go to and look at it. I think we looked at it a little bit early in the game and, um, you know, felt like we were probably going to close the game with it and uh, went to it sooner than we anticipated. Um, but, you know, the space of bringing Turner away from the basket and, you know, just, just being able to open things up, you know, this is a, this is a new, new era of basketball, you know, five, five perimeter players um, using that space to attack and, and switch a lot of things defensively. But I was just proud of our guys for, um, you know, how we competed uh, on the defensive end, you know, there were several, and how we stayed in the game. There were several times we were down 10 and, um, you know, we kept fighting and uh, obviously the big fella, you know, took us home. You know, what LeBron did tonight was just a, a performance for the ages. You know, I know these fans and how much they love their hoops here in Indianapolis. And, um, you know, he put on one hell of a show. And uh, obviously, you know, he gets the game ball. As a follow-up on LeBron, just to focus on the overtime. And, Frank, what is the challenge of playing the five and calling everything out like that defensively and then still having to create those type of shots and hit those type of jump shots? It takes a lot of energy. You know, and uh, you know, I know he wanted to get this W. He really wanted to play in that, that uh, you know, that next game, Madison Square Garden. Um, he looks forward to that every year, and uh, it's very disappointing for him to not be able to be in that game. So, um, you know, he bounced back tonight, and uh, you know, you said it right there. You know, to be able to, to you know to quarterback the defense and carry that load offensively is just a special performance. It's a performance for the ages, and. Um, you know, just something else. Uh, so was that gamesmanship when you told me that the super small lineup was unlikely tonight? <laughs> no, I tell you, we considered it, you know, but, you know, we wanted to see how it went. And, uh, you know, obviously most of the game, you know, we're going to play with our centers. And um, just LeBron and his three-point shooting, even in three seasons, what have you seen in terms of the growth of variety and spots he can hit those from? It's remarkable. I mean, it's a remarkable um sort of adjustment, you know, to the, the late years of his career. You know, obviously, you know, MJ and Kobe, you know, they both developed that unguardable uh, fadeaway jump shot, which, by the way, LeBron has that too. <laughs> but, um, you know, the, the adjustment to the modern era of NBA basketball, you know, to be a, a volume deep three-point shooter is, um, you know, it's just one of those things that you're going to look at LeBron's overall career and marvel at, at how he, he was able to do that because that wasn't part of his career uh, or part of his game early in his career. Frank, to go a little big picture, the 20 game mark, you saw which went down this road trip. You still even had played 10 games with your, your three, your big three together. Uh, you know, get to go back home and was home. Like, can, can this be, I know you said Detroit maybe could be a momentum changer. Can, can this be kind of like a demarcation ending this trip on a win? And, Hopefully, you know, for your guys' sake, uh, getting some continuity moving forward. Yeah, the continuity and uh, and momentum. You know, uh, we, we actually said before the game, had it on the board before the game, let, let, let's, let this be a game that starts a streak. You know, um, you know, obviously we're going back home. This is a, this has been a tough trip. A lot of traveling, um, you know, late night arrivals and whatnot. Our guys are, are tired. Um you know, but if we, we knew that if we got this, you know, this could be one of those games that builds a lot of momentum for us. You know, hopefully we get our our, uh, our full cast uh, back for the most part. I mean, we still, you know, a ways away with, with Kendrick and Trevor, but, you know, get uh, get Brown, Russ, and AD in there. Um, we haven't seen enough of that, you know, obviously to make any kind of judgments on, you know, on this season and where we're at and what it's going to look like. So, you know, it's going to be one of those seasons where we evolve, you know, throughout the entire 82 game regular season. And hopefully peak and hit our uh, hit our stride at playoff time. I to have Malik and Wayne hitting shots like that. How much does that help the offense and help LeBron? Well, it just takes it takes pressure off. You know what I mean? When when other guys are not making shots, it, it puts a lot of pressure on those guys to do it themselves. And um, you know, we're really working and talking to our guys about trusting each other. You know, just just really truly attacking and uh, you know creating for others. You know, but also, you know, once the first action is not there, just move it on to the next guy and trust that something good is going to happen. You know, and, um, you know, a lot of guys are contributing. It's, it's been tailing at times. It's been in Russ and, you know, Avery's carried some of the load offensively. But tonight, Wayne and uh, 
you know, Wayne and Malik were fantastic, you know, making plays and making shots. Uh, Frank, like you mentioned, you're very familiar with the crowd here. Have you ever heard them applaud uh, for an opposing player like they do for LeBron? No, I wouldn't like it if I was here coaching, but, um, you know, I would understand it. I mean, it's just, just a special performance by a special player. And, um, you know, that's that's the class that uh, you know, these fans have about them. Malik mentioned that everywhere you guys go, it seems like uh, it's like this huge fan base have that travels. Um, how much of a boost does that give you guys, uh, even when you're away? Oh, it's, uh, you know, it, it gives us a big boost. It really does. I've been on the other side of it, you know, where we have uh, you know, games here and there's a lot of Chicago Bulls fans in here and half the, half the arena is red. And, um, you know, that's difficult to play in your own building, you know, when, when guys, you know, when, when a lot of fans are rooting against you. Um, to have that on your side, you know, definitely gives us a, a boost. Jordan on Zoom. Hey, Coach. You guys put Miles in um... – and uh, Sabonis in the pick and in the pick and I, pick and roll ISO every single time it seemed like uh, in that overtime was that something that LeBron was pushing for in the, in the timeout in the huddle or some you guys were saying that the look that you guys wanted to have? Yeah, I mean we just uh, you know we have we have different opportunities to go at different guys. Sometimes you want to go at a smaller uh, a smaller defender uh, that you can attack, um, but we give LeBron confidence to you know to choose the targets. You know, it's to choose he, who he wants to go with. And, uh, you know, and during those moments, he wanted to go with those guys. And last question, Leonardo. Hi, Coach. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Thank Coach, you. how necessary are these kind of wins to continue to develop a winning team chemistry? Yeah, well, they're really important, you know, um, because, you know, you can do the work along the way and understand that there's growth, um, you know, whether you win or whether you lose. You know, but there's there's been a lot of losses where you know it can uh, it can weigh on your confidence, um, you know, in the direction that we're going, and you know to get one that feels this good, um, you know, definitely, uh, you know, just keeps everybody pulling in the right direction, and um, you know, can be a huge confidence boost for us. Thanks, coach. Yeah.